All right, Ray Petlin joins us now, and um, you're talking about remains of Barry yes. affecting us. Yeah, and uh, you know, oftentimes these systems, especially the ones that entered the Gulf of Mexico, find some moisture mm -hmm. to send our way, and this is no exception, and we are going to see some rain, and it's going to get heavy at times tomorrow in spots, and we're going to show you where Barry is now. Now, these are sort of uh, little spotty showers out ahead of the pack. We had our winds turn from the south as a result of Barry, and that pumped in more moisture with our heat, and that's, as a result, giving us these spotty showers. Nothing too bad. Some light rain near Cool Spring, uh, Mercer as well, as you get up into areas of Meadville. Most of this is very light, and you can see uh, going from just north of Pulaski outside of Hermitage to Cool Spring through Mercer and then back towards Grove City is where we see that light rain right now. It's a lot heavier as you get back into Ohio, especially western Ohio, where there's a lot of thunderstorm activity. We have temperatures very similar to what we had yesterday. The big difference is the humidity. We have much higher humidity levels than we did this same time yesterday, so it feels stickier outside. Temperatures generally in the mid-80s. Look at all the 84s we have. Indiana, Ford City, Butler, Pittsburgh, Latrobe, Connellsville. All at 84 degrees right now, and you can see it's hazy as we look off the top of Gateway Center. Traffic is starting to slowly move across the Fort Duquesne Bridge. We have our 84 degrees and our dew points up to 68. When your dew points in the mid 60s, it feels sticky. When you get into the upper 60s, it's muggy. And then once you touch into the 70s, it's downright awful. That's the trend we're getting at. And you get these higher humidity levels, especially when you have a tropical system or what's left of it moving across. And we're going to see those temperatures staying in the mid 70s into uh, the middle of the night. And then we're looking at the lower 70s early tomorrow morning. So right now, Barry is moving in through southern Illinois and southern Indiana. There's a lot of moisture, though, cycling around around this thing, even these showers coming in uh, from the south. So this whole thing is going to be passing over western Pennsylvania. You can see in here a lot of little reds and oranges. Those are waves of heavier rain that are going to come in with this system. So Barry pushes towards us tomorrow morning. Still pretty quiet. I think we could see some showers up to the north. But once we get into the afternoon, it's going to be widespread rain. Some of this heavy at times. Some rumbles of thunder can't be ruled out as this whole system passes through. And it's going to take through the evening and into the early morning hours of Thursday, then we start to dry it up. We'll have some clouds early on, but I think those clouds break up. We get some sunshine working in. And if Barry wasn't enough, then we really crank up the heat to go with that humidity. Those warm to hot temperatures move in. So very warm Thursday as highs making into the upper 80s. You factor in the humidity, it's going to feel like the 90s. And that's what we see here. Now, as we get into Friday, you factor in the temperatures in the mid 90s and the high humidity, it's going to feel closer to 100 degrees. Pretty close to 100 degrees again on Saturday, Sunday too. So it's going to just feel awful later this week, and there's no getting around that. So tonight, warm and muggy and isolated thunderstorm, 72 degrees. We get back to the low to mid 80s tomorrow with those rain and thunderstorms, and those will be mainly for the afternoon, but a few, few of those showers try to get in a little earlier. But you can see most of that action for the afternoon hours and over the next several days. Look at that, Friday, 93. But again, factoring the humidity, it's going to feel like a bajillion. <laughs> Just one bajillion? Just one bajillion. Right, if you can keep it in the low bajillions. <laughs> All right, thank you, Ray.